Welcome back to River City Live. Now, our viewing area stretches far and wide. People are like, oh, just Jacksonville, St. Augustine. No, we're up in Georgia, too. So I've got Jennifer K. Wood Williams here with us. She's from Camden County, Georgia. Not originally, but yeah. that's where you're based now. Yeah. Been on MasterChef. And there were some other reasons we connected, but I was like, let's focus on the food, because yeah. that's how I roll. And yeah. so uh, thanks for hanging out with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much. So Camden County, the food, the scene is burgeoning up there for foodies. And how did you end up there? And now that they're looking for upscale dining, how does that affect you? Well, Camden's up the, it's, it's definitely going to change in the next couple of years, because there's so many people moving to that area. And they're looking for, you know, upscale dining. And they don't want to go to Jacksonville. And I ended up in Camden because my husband in the Navy mm. so I actually lived there before and now I'm back and so you know it's just been a different kind of atmosphere it's like they want new things and they're like curious to explore so it's an awesome feeling too to be a part of that now, uh, brunch here in the south it's taken on a whole nother animal and it's got a long history can you break that down for me just a little bit well southern cooking I would say is your essentials you know you have your shrimp and grits and you got your chicken and waffles but you have to understand is like southern cooking it's not always southern like where do you think uh, chicken and waffles came from Chicago no, New York City, the jazz place. I just threw that out there because oh, well. New York's here. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, it was found in New York after the jazz clubs. They would uh, be off their shift, and in the morning, they'd make breakfast, and they'd have chicken, fried chicken left over, and they'd have a waffle, and they'd what? put that together. Everybody thinks the South, but people do Southern food differently, and that's what I'm trying to do, too. All right, so we're talking shrimp and grits, but yeah. we're taking it on an elevated yeah, level. Yeah, just a, a little complicated. So you've already kind of gone in and done some prep, so you're, we've got... Uh, we've, I think the recipe is going to pop up, but it's blackened shrimp, some uh, etouffee. You got a bunch yeah. of stuff in there. So. <laughs> yeah, so we got some andouille sausage that's with honey and pecan. We have some extra right here. We get that real. Let me make sure. What you think? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got some blackened shrimp, and the sauce is actually etouffee inspired. So it was started with a roux, and then wine sauce was added. And I just like that creamy taste with the grits, and the grits actually have Gouda, Gruyere, and Parmesan in it. I know, it's, it, hey, 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 people go wild on their shrimp and grits, I can too. I just try it and then we'll see, I promise. So the shrimp and grits I grew up in, it was like, you know, whatever the box brand was, oh. and then, you know, the shrimp, questionable, and they were like little micro stuff, but look at this, you got a nice size. Oh yeah. When it comes to, uh, like your protein and adding that in, is there a specific type of shrimp? Does it really matter? I would like to see basically what is available at the market if I can. And of course, you know, sometimes you have to snag something from the store, but I definitely try to see what's on sale, what just came in and go from there. I mean, I like the big, the big honkers, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. Well, so, so you guys can make your way up to Mayport and check out Safe Harbor because yeah. they did win Best Mayport Shrimp up in oh, there. Oh, that is So it. yeah, so I'm gonna put this right here on my, and we're gonna try a little of this because you know, Rance knows shrimp and grits. You know what? It's not often that I do this. We already know I have some only child issues. Jana, come on, come on. Let's get in there. My girl Jana, she likes to eat. She's been over here just drooling like, uh, do I get to play too? I like to feed people, so eat it up. All right, so made with love. Oh yeah. A little fork for you. And it's got a little bit of lemon on top of there with some zest and uh, chives. And... I like how we both went for the same bite. Like... Right? Great minds. Those grits have to be creamy. I mean, I know people are all different about grits, but I like mine to be super, just like my mac and cheese. So I just went for the grits itself. I didn't, didn't really go in for that, but Whoa. it's got a, hey there. I was like, man, it's a smoky in here, so. Uh, That's all right. <laughs> it's lit. It's okay. It's lit. It's lit. lit. <laughs> all right, Jana, what do you think? You're from so, the South. So I am from the South, so I really like a lot of character in my grits. And I think grits are personal. Like, you make them how you like them. And there's a lot of nice spice in here. I, I got a bite with the sausage. Yeah. Which gives it a really nice kick. And I love that creamy cheesiness in there. So I love that you use those. Oh, but that was like Gouda. What else did you say? And Gruyere and then Parmesan. See, so. I mean, again, when I was growing up, it was like you get some Kraft cheese <laughs> slices. In hey, man, Kraft, Kraft serves its purpose, all right? Like, when my daughter sees that little box, she's like, hey, she, knows hey, she knows what's up. She hasn't gotten there yet. So no. if people want to find you, they can go to your Facebook page, yeah. which is? Uh, it's going to be Chef Jennifer Williams um, and also my Instagram, which is uh, Life with Jiffy. And you can message me at any time. Um, 
to get in touch with me to do a private event or even a demo. I love doing those as well. Hit them with we that website. I like her website name. Uh, my family does king cakes during Mardi Gras. I'm also involved with uh, Bring Me Dat King Cake, which during Mardi Gras time, I go down to New Orleans and pick up. Well, last year it was almost 400 king cakes, and this year I want to get to 500. All right. So, <laughs> Guess who's coming back from Mardi Gras yeah, next year? Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, so make sure you show some love. Like I said, our viewing area is far and wide. Thanks for coming yeah, in to hang out with us. Jan, I never say I didn't do anything for nice once in my life. We got more River City hey, Live coming up. Oh, she just take it.